Okay, so what's up guys? I'm back with another video and since congressional hearing season tayo ngayon, pag-usapan naman po natin has something to do with political law, specifically the budget hearings of the office of the Vice President, Sara Duterte. She may not like how I answer. She may not like the contempt of my answer. But I am answering. So, nag-viral po yung, ano no, yung quote-unquote Shimanet statements ni VP Sara and in my legal opinion, she is actually correct when she stated those words that she may not do so. Ganyan-ganyan, she may not like my demeanor and so on. At ngayon, explain po natin yan. So, under our laws po kasi public officers have two classifications of their duties which can either be ministerial or discretionary. So, discretionary means po that the public official can use his or her own judgment when it comes to that function. So this usually involves when to do it, how to do it, and so on po. And on the other hand naman, ministerial means that there is no room for exercise of judgment or discretion when it comes to that government function. Meaning kahit na ayaw gawin ng isang public official, kailangan pa rin talaga niya gawin kasi yun yung nakalagay sa batas. So now with regards naman po the situation of VP Sara and my legal opinion po is that when it comes to defending her budget, the office of the vice president that is a discretionary function considering there is a use of her own discretion or judgment on how to answer the questions being asked her or how to defend her budget therefore that is a discretionary function so if vp sara's discretion po at that moment is to no longer defend her budget then that is her prerogative po at hindi po siya pwede makompel ng congress to defend or to answer question which will be against her own discretion and take note po by the end of the congress hearings whether or not VP Sara actually defends her budget or answers questions from congressmen or senators. Nasa Congress pa rin naman po talaga yung power to determine what will be the final amount of her budget since the power of the purse po is given by the Constitution to the legislative body of our government. So consequently po, despite all the quote-unquote shimanetting done by VP Sara, she is actually correct that she may forego the defending of her budget because again, that is a discretionary function of her office as the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Follow for more legal videos and bye-bye po. Okay, so